Hi, welcome to Speak Spanish with Maria Fernandez. I'm Maria Fernandez, and this podcast is brought to you by my Spanish learning website, querapido.com. At querapido.com, you can see the free transcript of this lesson. To get it, tap the link in the episode description on your mobile device. Today, we've got a question from Paul, one of my newsletter subscribers. Paul wants to know, how do you interpret the word quedar? I have come across this word in many different guises. And Paul is right. The verb quedar, Q-U-E-D-A-R, quedar, has several meanings. If you look up quedar in the dictionary, you'll get to remain or to be left, to be located, to arrange to meet, and to suit or fit. And then there are dozens of expressions with this verb. Today I'm going to focus on the main four uses of the verb quedar. The first one is to remain or to be left. And here are two good examples. Solo quedan cinco. There are only five left. Solo quedan cinco. And the second example is quedan cuatro patatas. There are four potatoes left. Quedan cuatro patatas. So the two examples are Solo quedan cinco and Quedan cuatro patatas. Before I continue with this lesson, let me remind you that on YouTube you can listen to every episode of this podcast 48 hours before anywhere else. My YouTube channel is Speak Spanish with Maria. You can see the link in the episode description on your mobile device. The second main meaning of the verb quedar is to be located. Here are two good examples. El supermercado queda cerca de aquí. The supermarket is near here. El supermercado queda cerca de aquí. The second example is queda muy lejos. It's very far away. Queda muy lejos. So the two examples are El supermercado queda cerca de aquí and Queda muy lejos. That's to express where something is located. The third main meaning of the verb quedar is to arrange to meet. So, for example, we could say Hemos quedado a las cuatro. We've arranged to meet at four o'clock. Hemos quedado a las cuatro. And another example is ¿Habéis quedado con ellos? Have you arranged to meet them? ¿Habéis quedado con ellos? So the two examples are ¿Hemos quedado a las cuatro? and ¿Habéis quedado con ellos? The fourth main meaning of the verb quedar is to suit or to fit. So, for example, we could say Estos zapatos no me quedan bien. These shoes don't fit me. Estos zapatos no me quedan bien. And we could also say Esa camisa te queda fenomenal. That shirt suits you great. Esa camisa te queda fenomenal. So, let's recap. The verb quedar has four main meanings, and then it can be used in plenty of different expressions, proverbs and set phrases, but here we are concentrating on those four meanings, which are to remain or to be left, to be located, to arrange to meet, and to suit or fit. So the examples for to remain or to be left are solo quedan cinco. There are only five left. Solo quedan cinco. And quedan cuatro patatas. There are four potatoes left. Quedan cuatro patatas. The second meaning, to be located, has the examples El supermercado queda cerca de aquí. The supermarket is near here. El supermercado queda cerca de aquí. And the second example was, queda muy lejos. It's very far from here, or it's very far away. 
queda muy lejos. The third meaning, to arrange to meet, has the examples. Hemos quedado a las cuatro. We've arranged to meet at four o'clock. Hemos quedado a las cuatro. And the second example. ¿Habéis quedado con ellos? Have you arranged to meet them? ¿Habéis quedado con ellos? The fourth and last meaning of the verb quedar is to suit or to fit. So the examples I gave you are Estos zapatos no me quedan bien. These shoes don't fit me. Estos zapatos no me quedan bien. And the second example was Esa camisa te queda fenomenal. That shirt suits you great. Esa camisa te queda fenomenal. To help you learn verbs like quedar, I've created a fun and easy Spanish speaking course. To find out more about it, go to querapido.com forward slash speaking or simply tap the link in the episode description on your mobile device.